Joining us now, Mossab Hassan Youssef. He is the son of a Hamas founding father and later become, became one of Israel's top informants. He went undercover with Hamas from 1997 until 2007 on behalf of Israel's Shin Bet security services. And he now lives in an undisclosed location. Um, Mossab Youssef, thank you so much for joining us. Um, what did you see and experience um, that made you turn on Hamas and, and help Israel? You know, since I was a child, I always complained to my father uh, about Hamas uh, abuse of power and uh, their brutality. You know, they, they're very strict and uh, uh, they uh, very religious. Uh, they're fanatics. And uh, but I did not think at some point, you know, they would cause all this global trouble. You know, uh, they, they are, we saw their uh, brutality. Uh, I witnessed their brutality firsthand when I was in prison, when they tortured so many Palestinian uh, people for suspicion uh, of collaborating with Israel. And this is basically when I start questioning Hamas uh, uh, movement. Did the barbarity and, and the cruelty of what Hamas did to innocent civilians on October 7th, did that surprise you? Well, you know, they surprised me as they surprised everybody uh, by the scale of the attack. You know, uh, we did not see that coming, but their brutality, the, their nature, it did not surprise me. You know, back in 1996, they killed so many people. They tortured so many people. Our, you know, prison mates, basically. Uh, people I knew personally. Uh, they uh, did all type of uh, crazy things. You know, uh, they uh, uh, put needles under people's fingernails, you know, and I, I witnessed that firsthand. So uh, I'm not surprised to what extent Hamas can go, uh, but the scale of the attack on October 7th, that was a uh, surprise, I think, for everybody, including Hamas themselves. Were you surprised at the failure of Israeli intelligence on October 7th? Uh, listen, there was a failure, but this is not the time to blame anybody. There, there, uh, there is corruption, there is failure, uh, there is lack of leadership, but this is not the time now to blame anybody. This is the time to get unified. You know, the United States need to give Israel the necessary cover to uproot Hamas. You know, Hamas, Israel is fighting on behalf of, of America. Israel is fighting on behalf of the Palestinian people. Israel now is fighting on behalf of the free world. This is not a politi political propaganda. I, uh, as an ex-Hamas uh, member, the son of the founder of Hamas organization, and today as an American citizen, I ask the president of the United States to give Israel the necessary cover, the necessary supply, whatever it takes to uproot Hamas. Otherwise, the next war is going to be deadlier. I know that you think that Hamas is the enemy of not just Israel, but the Palestinian people. Strategically, do you think it is wise for the Israeli Defense Forces to, to stage a ground incursion into Gaza to uproot Hamas? Do you think that's a smart thing to do? Well, you know, uh, now it's a war time, unfortunately. And this war, uh, Israel did not start. Hamas started this war. And Hamas, in fact, uh, in this equation, uh, blood for money, they start a war every uh, few years. Whenever they want money, you know, they uh, shed uh, children's blood. Uh, this is their game. And this has to stop. This to ha have to come to an end. And unfortunately, the price is not going to be cheap. Uh, in fact, I feel very sorry for Israel that they have to go into Gaza where there are booby traps all over the place and tunnels all over the place. I don't know how many Israeli soldiers have to die in order to uh, 
uh, destroy uh, Hamas. This is the most complicated mission a modern army uh, uh, has in our uh, in our modern day. Now, what I suggest, you know, uh, to the Israelis that they wait, they take their time, they collect intelligence. And what I need from the United States to give enough support. In fact, I would like to see the Navy SEALs taking part in this. I know this sounds horrible, but again, I speak as a taxpayer, as an American today, that we need to be unified. We need to give Israel the support. We need to free Palestinians and free Gaza from Hamas ruling. You were embedded with Hamas before you were well, first you were with Hamas, and then you were embedded with Hamas on behalf of the Shin Bet. What can you tell us about what motivates these people? What, what are they like? What are the leaders of Hamas like? What do they want? Uh, well, they are a religious movement. And this is what everybody is afraid to say. If Hamas was a political movement, then we can satisfy their political ambition. But Hamas is a religious movement that does not believe in political borders. You know, they want to establish an Islamic state, state on the rubble of the state of Israel. They want to annihilate the Jewish people and the Jewish state. They want to kill everybody who support Israel, then establish an Islamic state. But this is not the end because their uh, ambition is global. They want to establish eventually an Islamic state, a global state. So this is what's on their mind. And we know that we cannot satisfy their ambition. And the more power, you know, we give them, the more aggressive they are going to be. Uh, hence, we cannot give Hamas what they want. We cannot give them what they are asking for, whatever it takes. You know, in war, people die and we need to prepare public. You know, I say that this is an ugly war. Israel did not start it, but Israel will end it. So the United States insists that the aid being provided for civilians in Gaza will not go to Hamas. Do you believe that the aid will not go to Hamas? Do you believe that the aid will only go to the innocent Palestinians? You know, the United States and uh, Europe um, have been very generous with the Palestinian people, but their leadership steal the money all the time. They steal the aid. Uh, so much aid came into Gaza. Hamas used all that aid to build tunnels under the ground. And now look at the chaos they are creating. The aid is great, but not right now. I suggest that we open the border for the Palestinian innocent people, including women, children, and elders, to leave the Gaza Strip or to go into a safe zone. Uh, in the meantime, we have to enforce unbreachable siege on Hamas. Otherwise, we, we are not able to deplete them. They are under the ground. They have hostages. We have to cut power. We cannot give them food. We cannot give them water. And we have to deplete them for long weeks before we can even go in. You know, otherwise, we cannot win this war against this brutal enemy, enemy of humanity. Musab Youssef, thank you so much for your time. Really, really appreciate your insights. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me.